What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 news video and today I will cover the latest uh, IGN release on Destiny 2 titled Bungie's Vision for Destiny 2. They revealed and showcased many many things definitely worth covering. But before we go any further people, if you do enjoy the video at the end leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. Okay so getting into it. The video starts with Luke Smith stating that in creating a sequel to Destiny was really hard. It's challenging as how can they bring new people into this world. Bungie state that they're trying to make Destiny 2 a fresh start. They go on to state they had two pretty clear paths going into the creation of Destiny 2. Path A is a path where they do Taking King style expansions and Path B which was the path they state they took was whenever a game comes out with a number on it it's a new opportunity to bring new players into this world. They mention how Destiny is a game which brings players together, it's a game which replaces social activities, which is true, I've replaced many many social activities to share an online social space with you guys, which is what I'd probably rather do. They then go on to talk about the story of Destiny 2 and how it was super important for them to get it right this time. And by getting it right, they state as a story people can relate to with memorable characters, epic moments and ultimately people can sink their teeth into. There is also the story of the worlds which we will uncover by going on adventures. Giving the universe a sense of progress was important to Bungie. Bungie mentioned that previously they had a strong subculture of people who got deeply into the lore of Destiny and loved it. But they state it's a niche and more people can get into it too. They state they are approaching storytelling not just from a basic A point and cinematic perspective but like how can they take a story and place it throughout the game world and how do they pull it in such a way that everyone who plays Destiny 2 believes it's a really compelling world and will want to know more about it and its history. Inspired by the lore and fiction that's in the grimoire, what if that was in game by finding these exotic weapons of the world and the exotic arms of the world, learning more about the characters, the fiction and the world of Destiny. That was their main goal going into the story of Destiny 2. Day State 2 is an incredible experience which has a lot of depth to it and if you crack that nut you will see there are tons of things to do. They then state that if you see an activity on a destination that means you haven't done it yet and these will be on your milestone tray which you can pull up at any time and see what's next for you to do and achieve. They then go on to talk about the difficulty. They state the difficulty certainly at a pinnacle level of the game. They have tried to make a much tougher place to be. Places where we will be load out a lot. Meaning once an activity has started we won't be able to change our setup. So being ready for the activity before it starts will be really important. This is definitely a new feature I am looking forward to seeing how it comes across. I really am. They then go on to talk about what made Destiny 1 hard to enjoy, basically stating that there was no real feeling of accomplishment, which I got to agree with after you've done a certain thing, I mean the game was just a bore, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it was just a bore, playing it week in week out, there was no sense of accomplishment, I'm glad Bungie have picked up on this. With Destiny 2, they want you to feel like the game you are playing has a sense of progression. Destiny 2 is a better place making it a platform for years of ongoing content and a place easier for people to get into. Luke Smith goes on to state what he loves about the game is the moment they are new and the moment you can have a conversation about them and how he is consumed in many ways by the opportunity to surprise and delight and how there are a lot of stuff in this game which they don't want to talk about at the current moment in time as they want us to encounter them and encounter that surprise when playing for ourselves, which I appreciate, I really do. I mean, I hate going into a new game knowing absolutely everything about it. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Bungie have shared quite a lot of the uh, PVP side of things, but I've kept the PVE side of things under their belt, which is great. But guys, that is it for another video. If you wanna watch the full interview by Mike Norsworthy and Luke Smith from IGN, I will link that in the video description. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about it down below in that comment section. If you enjoyed it, smashing that like button really does help out. Thanks as always for stopping by and I'll see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.